Hello and welcome in. Mark here, aka the Markster. This is video number 61 in the FreeCAD series. So, what you're looking at here is an image of a mesh object that a user on the forum uh, has downloaded. Actually, this is his file. So, he wants to cut some little holes in here like this in his model so that when he prints it he can save on some some filament and some printing time so have some little um, spokes in other words instead of a solid object here so that's what we're going to do today let me show you which version I'm using 0 0.19 revision 20221 on Windows 10. This is one of the development releases. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is go to the mesh design workbench here and do an analysis on the mesh. And we do that in with the analyze tool. And we click analyze down here where it says repetitive repair. And this is going to diagnose any issues that we have right now with this object. And you see 120 folds on the surface. I don't know how big of a deal this is. It might still be usable, but this object does have some issues. But we'll proceed anyway. So what I'm going to do is go to Sketcher. Create a sketch on the XY plane. And let's see that image again. So we've got two arcs and two straight edges so we'll center our arc one of them center the other one Let's add some edges here. Uh oh, wrong. Tell you what, I'm going to just put this one on that edge. And this one on this edge. These two will be equal. these two be equal
let's go over to part and we'll extrude this let's apply it and see what it looks like okay, that looks like it's going in the wrong direction now I'll just make it a hundred I don't care if it extends beyond it and we'll go over to draft and we'll create the polar array we're going to 60 degrees with three elements now back to mesh design create a mesh from shape I'll just use the standard default we can hide this array we don't need it anymore select the original plus the new one this boolean difference here is the same as the boolean cut This is taking a while. There we are. Now let's hide these two original objects and look at our difference object. And let's switch to wireframe. looks okay what I'm what I look for in wireframe mode with the mesh is you want to look for uniformity so we have some, some different things going on but it it looks okay now let's run the analyze tool most likely it's going to show those same errors yeah so we still have that whatever was going on with this to begin with but hopefully this will be something you can print out and, and use well, that's going to be it for today thank you for watching and as always have a great day